Again, uh, Alex Lex is coming at you, but I've been in hiatus for a long time. I haven't done a podcast in a minute since uh, ultimately retiring from doing this type of content. And, uh, you know, it would take something interesting to bring me out of the cave. You know, I'm an old man now and, uh, you know, different life priorities so kind of backed out of the game but uh if i had more time i'd be doing it you know but uh this has been brought to you by the new 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 game order alex flexus aka the juggernaut you see how time my outfit is <laughs> so uh i was trying to see if i could get free play mode uh last minute to uh talk about something because you know I, I, I'm, I, I want to preface this on saying that at the end of the day, gamers should be gamers, right? Some of the antics on Twitter, sometimes often irresponsible on um, different sides of the house, whether you're a PlayStation guy, Xbox guy, Nintendo, PC Master Race, per se. Right. But at the end of the day, you know, facts are facts. You know, you have to follow the mantra facts, not feelings. OK. Um, the reason that I'm, I'm doing this, I don't even know why I felt the need or compelled to uh, produce this response video is because this guy right here, this clown over here. Right. Mm. It, 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 D batch is gonna slay and fillet you, bro. Cause he did a video earlier talking about some uh, what, what, what was it? There's no uh, bias against Xbox. All right, let let me kind of frame everything for you. All right, so we already know f for those of us mature xbox uh supporters like doc dark dirt gritty you know xbox 720 um randall thor all those guys right uh the, the ones that are not extreme the ones that i can actually sit there and in, in dialogue with folks can tell you that microsoft has made a lot of mistakes so i'm opening on that microsoft has made a lot of mistakes However, so has Sony, especially during the PS3 era, right? But Sony was given that opportunity to redeem themselves, to remedy some of the missteps that, that occurred. So I think I said this on one of my old productions many moons ago, where Sony tripped up out of the gate with the PS3, but they were allowed to get back up. Whereas Microsoft with Don Ratchick, like I still hold him accountable for the state of things after Peter Moore left because he, Peter Moore, for those of you who don't know, the, the younger folks were, was literally the guy at the helm for the Dreamcast and the early days of Xbox 360, right? This guy knew what the hell he was doing. And I, I regret that that man stepped down because he left the Xbox brand in a state where, hey, you know, they 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 were going at it, Godzilla versus Kong style, you know, like they they were they were they were on it, you know, uh, but when changing of the guards, you know, leadership changes, a lot of things happen, you know, um, not everybody has the same ideals, goals. Or processes on how to be successful. And uh, I will be the first. Because I primarily game on Xbox. But I do also have other platforms. Alright. The reason I say this is because you know. You're going to have these folks. Who are going to be in their feelings. And not in their in the facts. About things. So. Um, I, I'm just laying some, some, some groundwork with this. Because I felt that I had to. This guy. Right here, you know, he wonders why Griffin Gaming was going after him. A couple other people are going after him because I don't 
think he, he thinks before he makes a video. Um, I used to I used to be subscribed to him and Crap Gamer until like you started seeing too much of a blind bias for views. You know, I see a lot of times where if you look at how Dreamcast guys, you know, does his thumbnails, it's like, ooh, ah, like, oh, what? I, I got to click on this, you know. I, I think he just makes videos or has diarrhea out of the mouth to just, like, put stuff out there without, you know. And in this video, he goes and pulls up the, you know, the documents that are being utilized in the ABK uh, case. And it just it's baffling to me where it seems like his interpretation of what he was trying to read, he was spinning it in such a way so that you can see that, oh, yeah, it was, uh, Microsoft, you know, uh, is saying it's OK for exclusives and this, that and the dirt. Well, well, that is true to an extent. But people, if they understand the history of things, understand that. You know, I don't completely blame Sony for that uh, cutthroat practice because Nintendo in the SNES era was doing that. Some examples of such were Final Fight 2, Final Fight 3. Somehow Nintendo had locked up exclusivity for the sequels to Final Fight. Now, when you see Final Fight 2 and 3, you don't see it anywhere else. That is a true bona fide Nintendo exclusive. You will not see that anywhere else. That's just, you know, one example, right? And it, it just, you know, those who are playing under Genesis never got that, you know? And, you know, I was too young to understand what was happening here, but Nintendo was like the market leader. So, yeah, there is, th th there's some biases. There's some things where they know developers are going to say, hey, they have a large install base. Money is guaranteed there. So, we know this, 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 this occurs, right? Um, it looks like N N Sega and Nintendo seemed a little more evenly matched back in the 80s, 90s or so. Uh, now we're coming up in this era. And, you know, Sony has established them. that PS2 put Sony on the map. The, 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 the single best selling console in history. Right? So that nets you uh, a lot of, you know, advantages. It, 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 you, you know, got your trophy. It, 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 you etched your name in the annals of time. Right? So. With that said, uh, it, it just, to me, Dreamcast guy has a very blind eye to things because he said in this video that nobody is blocking things or is, is anti-Xbox. When that is a blatant, you know, that's misinformation. It's true. It is true. He brought up some of these examples where, you know, at the end of the day, I, I, I said, look, he, he brought up Vampire Survivor, right? And it, it seemed like it, it, from I rewatched this a couple of times and I was listening to it on the way home from work. Mind you, I don't subscribe to him anymore. But somehow that pops up on my recommendation list. I'm just just grinds my gears. But um. Vampire Survivor is not on PS5, right? It's on Xbox and, and Steam. But, you know, he brought that up. He's like, I want to play it on PS5, this, that, and the third, or whatever. Or let me not misquote. It's not available on PlayStation 5 per his video, right? And it seemed like that, that struck a nerve or struck a chord somewhere. Right, Dreamcast guy? So... When, uh, you know, you're feeling like that, take that and magnify it and, and multiply it by 10 or 100, if that. Because you had games like Street Fighter V, you, and now what, Stellar Blade, Final Fantasy VII Remake, the next Final Fantasy installment, a couple others like killer app games that, you know, has not, have been blocked off of the Xbox. Now, he claims that 
you know, oh, they helped with production. They sent people. Now, I, I was going to put in that video, where's your proof? I haven't heard anything about that, with the exception of possibly Street Fighter V because Capcom was in rough shape. Because those of you who know, Capcom was on a canceling spree of projects because they were not in a good state. So had Sony not intervened financially, Street Fighter V wouldn't have come out at the time that it did. So I don't know what it was where Capcom had to get the game out at a certain time. Because Street Fighter 4 was still viable. But for some reason, in order to get it out in a certain window, Microsoft was approached, Sony was approached, Sony was the one to pay up the money. Now, a numbered Street Fighter game that didn't appear on multi-console, that was the first. It's unheard of, right? And even when, I believe, Gutex, Mike Ross, a lot of those guys, when... The Street Fighter V trailer popped up and it says PS4 uh, exclusive. Everybody was sitting in, in shock. Like, what? Like, that, that, that doesn't register in your head, Dreamcast guy? There, 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 there is a sort of practice where there's Xbox exclusion. Now, it's, I'm not going to go into crazy insults until I turn into Juggernaut mode later, but to turn a blind eye, to say that something is not happening, it's like Dreamcast guy, you're saying the sky is not blue, it's freaking pink or teal or something. When facts versus feelings, like they, 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 there are titles that there's no explanation as to, no reason why they should not. As a third party, I, I don't think you ever even mentioned that in your video, but. There's a thing where, you know, you have your first party, your second party, you know, like uh, the IPs belong to Sony, but they outsource to somebody to make it. You know, Platinum Games has become a hired gun of sort. That was supposed to be the case for Scalebound, right? But we know what happened there. But when it's a true bona fide third party exclusive, that, that is uh, bad practice. That's bad for practice. It's anti-consumer because when you got people who get hyped for a trailer and then all of a sudden PlayStation exclusive, then it, it's almost as if it's an attack on the folks who do not wish to participate in the PlayStation ecosystem. You remove choice. You have to force them, if they're already invested in one ecosystem, to uproot and go somewhere else. That's not going to happen for most folks. The way that PlayStation and Microsoft, even Nintendo, now where you are is where you are. Your games aren't going to follow you. Your content's not going to follow you. So it's like where you are is where you are. So for Sony to, to pull these exclusion practices, it's not okay. It's not okay. And to act like it doesn't exist makes you, Dreamcast guy, look like a damn clown. I'm sorry. You know, I, 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 I always try to preface myself in terms of to, to not take digs at anybody. But, dude, like, I, I've, I've seen and heard stuff. I'm like, man, that, that kind of stuff gets you in trouble. And, yeah, there are Xbox zealots out there. And I don't agree with extremism on both sides, whether it's PlayStation or the Xbox side. But when you got folks who aren't dummies, aren't impressionable, who actually will sit and look at, at things, it's like, Dreamcast guy, you, in this video, contradicted yourself. You know, talking about feelings and this and that. that, that this video is 99.9999% like feeling. He took what, what was in the statement f towards the CMA and, and he twisted it in such a way where he's like, yeah, well, the Microsoft, Dreamcast guy, shut up. Like, like for real. Because to, to be, like, I, I could say when you look at guys like Doc Dark, right? A lot of times he, he's really harsh on Microsoft, but he's also very supportive of them. And he'll call them out when, when they mess up. Like, I can say that Microsoft 
waited till the tenth round to start throwing punches. They waited till round eleven to start throwing hooks. And in the twelfth round, now now the fight is in you. Why did they wait this long? Why did they let Sony's roots get so interwoven into the ground that now trying to chop down that tree is becoming a daunting task? The analogy is only put there for mental imagery, but when when you stop and think that Sony has been getting away with a lot of stuff, now the U.S. Congress has twelve members looking into anti you know, trade practices in Japan. And I always said when I was younger, I said, man, Microsoft or no U.S., you know, or outside system will ever do well in Japan, right? And now digging back, and it's like, hmm, I think Microsoft played their hand well, and they said they were ready to go to court over the ABK deal, right? Because they knew this would at some point surface. Now, look, Sony's under investigation. If there wasn't anything going on, if Sony was completely innocent in that, they would not have lost it, this investigation. So, with that said, I, 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 I try to understand why Sony ha is allowed to go ahead and, you know, lock up things like Insomniac you know, uh, lock up all types of stuff, and, and nobody bats an eye. But when Microsoft went and secured Bethesda, and they're now trying to acquire Activision Blizzard King, oh, oh, uh, we can't, nobody can use Sony's playbook, only Sony can run those plays. Come on now, come on. Dreamcast guy, don't turn a blind eye to what Sony has been doing and been getting away with. And then, you know, Saying that there's no nothing going on against the Xbox. Look at games like Tomb Raider. You had people said, I don't care under what no circumstances I'm not getting Tomb Raider as an exclusive on Xbox. They'll rather wait for it on PlayStation. But then when they're like trying to compete and trying to get uh deals and whatnot, nobody supports them. Another example, you had Killer Instinct. I've I've saw on event hubs where folks said Oh, if it came out on PlayStation, uh, I'll get it on PlayStation. Um, when was the last time any Xbox player asked for God of War to be on Xbox? Microsoft owns Killer Instincts, you morons. That's like the dumbest thing I've, I've, I've ever, you know, it, it just, it, you, it, it, to me, it's almost as if they can't win for trying, you know? Uh, Oh, what's up, Shin Raven? Yeah, they did this clown over here. When I upload the archive to YouTube, you'll see. So, kind of to recap, so this, 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 this Yahoo over here is pretty much um, spreading misinformation, talking about that there's no, I wouldn't say anti Xbox sentiment, but it's more or less like there's a a thing where uh, what is this? There are exclusion deals. There are things that keep certain titles off of the Xbox brand. Another example, Resident Evil Village, Resident Evil 8, right? Everybody knows somewhere along the line that it got leaked, that uh, Sony was actively trying to bar that game from being put onto Game Pass. Now, it's not Sony's place to tell Capcom, a third-party developer, where they can and can't put their games. Who is Sony to tell Capcom what to do? Now, here's... <laughs> and some of you Sony ponies are probably going to blow a gasket when I say this. But if Microsoft flexes their wallet... I remember CM Punk said to The Rock on one of their promos, The Rock's arms aren't long enough to box with a god. Microsoft can reach so down damn deep into their wallets and outbid Sony for these things. But what would that look like? Microsoft in a day can crush a lot of these deals. But this is where I call Microsoft out because you can, you can. But for some reason, this pacifist nature is what got them in this situation in the first place. 
because the bully that always get picked on or, or the redheaded stepchild that get mistreated now that 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 individual snaps it starts swinging and now there's a big fight because the bully aka sony oh it's like well no that's I, I, I'm the alpha. I'm supposed to be on top. It, I, I, it's like my manifest destiny. I have to be ahead, right? And now this kid is starting to fight back, and now it's an issue. Now, 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 now you got, you know, two two rams on a hill, going at it. Microsoft's not yielding, and Sony's not yielding. I, I believe in fair trade and competition. Okay, if anything. Microsoft, when uh, Bungie got picked up, Insomniac got picked up, a couple other studios here and there. Hey, okay, you're doing your thing. Microsoft, you didn't see them get involved in that whatsoever. But Sony has some nerve to jump in with Jim Ryan going to a member of EBK and say, I I'm not here for a new deal. I'm here to block your merger. Dreamcast guy. There's no issue there. There's no anti Xbox sediment going on. There's no un written rule <laughs> happening here. You know, uh, they bought EA or no, no, it, it's Activision, uh, the, you know, publisher of Treyarch, you know, Sledgehammer, uh, you know, a lot of mobile games. It's just, it, it's, it's a big, big, big piece of the pie. So, uh, yeah, what's happening? Yeah, Microsoft is pretty much about to be the parent of Call of Duty, you know. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Battlefield. My brother-in-law plays that game. Yeah, Battlefield is pretty, pretty good stuff. But, uh, but yeah, I, I just I had to address this thing. Like, you know. Gene Cast guy says nobody's against the Xbox, and a lot. It, it, that's a flat out lie. You had a lot of media outlets just like it was cool to bash Xbox. You had like punk asses like freaking Amazing Lucas, even Crap Gamer. He had to do an about face forward march because his channel was really getting like the the shiz on him. Now. Granted, like he does clickbait stuff too, but what I respect that Crap Gamer recognized he was being toxic and he had to turn himself around and become like, hey, you know what? This is what, even if it's just regurgitating news. Review Tech, when he was a little more active, you know, prayers to his daughter. Uh, you know, just send him prayer and support, guys. You know, he was dealing with an issue. Um, you know, it's not, I'm not, not at liberty to talk about that, but, you know, Review Tech, what I respect about him, he called them out. He called everybody out. Nobody was safe. Like, Onsite would say, no one is safe. Like, you know, like, what is, is, is. Not, it, it, screw, it's, it's facts, not feelings. All right? Facts, not feelings. So, yeah, 2042 is a bit, mm, I don't know, that, that, that's for another day, you know, because 2042 kind of falls into that Vanguard or Van Garbage, as some people call it. I didn't play Vanguard, so that wasn't, you know, my thing. But, again, I have to drive this home. Dreamcast guy, that video, I'm not even going to, you know, insult you guys by linking it, or even, you know, you, if you follow Dreamcast Guy, you know where to find it. But he posted that today. You know, in D-Batch, I'm pretty sure D-Batch is going to eviscerate him later. Because you set yourself up. You asked for it. You asked for it. I'm pretty sure Dirk Gritty from uh, his, his show, uh, he's going to give him the POS award. Because to sit here and, and, and say Poop isn't brown, the sky isn't blue, and black the you know, night isn't black, that that is just baffling to me. You know full well that there is an agenda that you know Sony tried to levy the CMA to protect their market leadership position in the in in, in the industry. And at the end of the day, no one stays on top of forever. Even Rome fell. 
okay? And yeah, Sony has every right to fight to maintain their position. But when you get to a point where it's just like, you know what? The writing's on the wall. The way we consume games are different. Game Pass was deemed as, oh, it, it, it's hurting the industry. But yet Sony didn't want to ke- play keep up or change with, you know, the digital age. But you were tra- they're trying to sabotage Microsoft. They're trying to keep games off of Game Pass. And, and, and you're going to sit here. There's no exclusion agreements. Go and reread what you put on your video and try to see it from a different perspective. Mr. Dreamcast guy. You should be just called Sony guy going forward. It's a disrespect to the Dreamcast for you to even uh, usher that name. Because, I mean, with the way that Sony was, was savages and took out Sega... When and, and uh, you know their last effort, but Sega did it to themselves. They cannibalized themselves. I love Sega. I love Sega. I love and the Nintendo also. But that Dreamcast, Sony put put the nail in the coffin for them. It's like Sega screwed up. They literally gave the stake and hammer over to them, and Sony is like, all right, right in the chest. So it's a disrespect that you call yourself Dreamcast guy, but with being such a Sony shill and fanboy that you are. Because I once respected people like you, uh, Red Dragon, and a couple other folks, but you guys have fallen far from grace. Stop with the misinformation. You know, I, I get it. You like PlayStation. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, what is, is what is. You know, I can go into the political stuff, but that's not why I'm here. You know, but to say that there's not a problem with Xbox exclusion, titles being held off the platform, taking away gamers' choice, that is an issue. You know, so... Yeah, I was going to do my juggernaut and start ripping him apart, but, you know, his face says it all. You know, but shame on you, Dreamcast guy. Shame on you, you know. I I sit here and sometimes it's just it's cringe. It's cringe to see some of the stuff that, that like today was, was, was took the cake for me. I had to say something, and because of a guy like this, I I might be doing podcasts again, Shin Raven. I might have to come back and just like when he puts something stupid out, I have to kind of levy level things out, or he'll probably end up on Doc Dark's radar or something like that. You know, because those guys are savages. You know, because I swear, I left for for years, man, and I did my homework. Me and New Game in Order, we we you know, we called we called things out. Microsoft messed up, Sony messed up, Nintendo messed up. Like, look what Nintendo recently did. I believe Capcom's also involved in it, where emulators got blocked. You know, on 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 the the, the Series X. S and the one. I'm like, really? Nintendo's that draconian? Like, they're still, like, it's it's like, they don't make their old games available, not even in their eShop, but then, you, oh, oh, yeah, it's not available, but even if you have some sort of archive or some way to play it, oh, we're going to shut it down. We're going to shut it down. No, you can't, you can't do it. Make it available. Make it available. That that that's why I agree with Review Tech on, you know. But again, I I, I didn't want this to go longer. I, I I am really sorry for that. But uh, yeah, Dreamcast guy, I don't want to subscribe to him. I don't want to give him that sort of support because he, he he's out there spreading misinformation. Understand, he turns a blind eye. Understand that. He's sitting there trying to tell you that there's no issue holding games off of uh, the, the Xbox. And, and Sony is going and sending folks over to help with developments of games. Then that means that, wait a minute, did folks end up becoming second party or first party and it's not an official thing? If, if that's the case, go ahead and buy the damn studio. Because the expectation will not be there. As a third-party developer, Square Enix being the major, you know, uh, offender of this, then just get absorbed by Sony. 
You know what I'm saying? It, it, it just, to me, like, I, I still am against these types of practices. If it's first party, yes, it belongs to you guys. Smash Brothers, Zelda, Mario, then you go on the PlayStation side, you got God of War, and, and, and Horizon, and whatnot. Halo, um, Killer Instinct, and, and the list goes on. Those games, yeah, they should be exclusive because they're in-house. But when I'm talking about independent developers getting caught up in that stuff, I, I don't agree with that. Because that means there's a possibility that somebody won't get to play that game. You hear me, drink ass guy? Somebody won't get to play that game. So that vampire survivor that you're sitting there bitching about, take that again and magnify that by 100. And that's what the Xbox from the generation one, uh, the Xbox one to now was dealing with. Now it's a game that you like and you're pissed off about it. Cry me a river. Cry me a river. So let's see. Too so many licenses. Yeah, right. <laughs> so you see what I'm saying? Shin Raven said it right there. You know, but like I said, I'm going to not go so long as to, you know, these other shows, but I had to really, like, Dreamcast guy, just shut up. There's some stuff that you say is good. I, 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 I he probably, you know, uh, when folks go after him, he'll just, like, either block or ignore them or whatnot, and, and that's a flaw. You have to be able to have thick skin. You're on this platform, and you, you have to be able to dish it out and take it, bro. Just, just, just stop with the nonsense. Like, really, really. Like, you're, you're on some, some other BS right now. Mm, mm, mm. I think I covered most of my notes. But, uh, yeah, that warp interpretation of how he read everything about like, exclusives being good for the industry and such and such. Yeah, first party. Third party, that is never good. Never, 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 never good because at the end of the day, somebody who may not be able to switch ecosystems or support more than one ecosystem will not get to play that game. That that's 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 the issue. You take away choice, you 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 you, you screw things up, and again, the ones who have it may not give a damn. But again. You see, Street Fighter V was not on Xbox. Now Street Fighter VI is on Xbox. You do the math. You do the math. Dreamcast guy. Freaking guy. Piss me off, man. He wonders why he's the butt of a lot of jokes. Why he gets freaking eviscerated the way he does. Terrible. You know? I used to feel sorry for the guy, too. Believe me when I tell you, I used to really feel bad. I'm like, why are they ripping this guy? And I see this video, I'm like, good. That's what you get. That's what you get. Stop putting out BS videos like that. That was that that was the most anti Xbox crap I've ever seen since Amazing Lucas. You know, if if you don't like a platform, you don't have to bash the other. You can be pro PlayStation, but not anti Xbox. Talking about, you know, Understanding the English language and whatnot, dude. Just sit, process, be for your PlayStation because you are a Sony pony galloping down the road or, or like a giraffe out of the womb, aka shout out to Doc Dark. But you don't have to be spreading that rhetoric on, on the Xbox. Like what you like, game at the end of the day. Get on your Steam Deck. I have one, I got this gaming. Rock Swift uh, PC that I built recently. You know what I mean? Just, you. everybody has a preferred platform, as do I. I'd just rather have everything in one place and should not be penalized myself or the others who want Final Fantasy, who want uh, one is Street Fighter V, should not be penalized for, for not supporting PlayStation. It just, I don't know how else to, to put it. So, Make sure y'all rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm like, uh, I'll be on PC with a new year. Hey, go for it, brother. Go for it, Shin Raven. And the Steam Deck is, is fire, bro. That, that, that Steam Deck, magnifique.
Okay, boom. <laughs> all right, so let me get up out of here. I want to thank y'all for watching. I'm going to hit y'all with the Shungoku Sut. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm still a little sick. Sorry about that. I'm trying to, I had to try to fight this cough. So, uh, Shin Raven, thank you for participating. And this will be on YouTube later. The man invented the juggernaut. Alex Lex is hitting you with the head crush. Canceling that pimp smack, baby. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.